So we made a video about 3D printed bearings and it did really well. There were a lot of comments that were overwhelmingly positive and then there were some that were pretty negative. Some saying that these are kind of pointless and that you definitely don't need them and that, you know, they're junk, why not just buy cheap bearings? Well, the reality is we wanted to make these because we wanted to see if we could do it. And what we did is we used filament for the rollers as opposed to printing the rollers because if you print rollers, they're probably going to fall apart. In that last video, we made this little bearing right here, which we put in our Ferris wheel system. And it works really well for that. In this video, we're gonna test it on something a little more extreme by putting these on a go-kart and seeing how far we can go before they fall apart or if they'll just keep going for as long as we need them to. Of course, they are not steel bearings, we get that. I mean, these are plastic 3D printed bearings. We just wanted to see if we could be self-sufficient with our printers and do this ourselves. Also, at the end of the video, we're gonna test out this little micro 10 by nine millimeter bearing that works on an M3 screw. We're gonna test out this one as well. All of these will be available for free on our Patreon, the free side, where you can download them and try them yourselves along with some other things. And of course, if you want to support us and do the paid Patreon, we have other projects you can add these to. I'd like to start by thanking and apologizing to my nephew who left his yerf cart in the barn. After some quick surgery to remove their original and perfectly fine bearings, I'm gonna get the dimensions and recreate them in Fusion 360. While 1.75 millimeters is too small for the rollers on this type of bearing, we're gonna try it out anyway. The design I'm going with has an inner and outer race as well as a roller cage to keep the filament from twisting side to side. The tolerances are pretty tight in these, so even an adjustment of 0.05 millimeters makes a major difference. Yes, I know in machining, that's a huge tolerance adjustment, but in 3D printing, 0.05 millimeters is really not that much. I'm using an excessive number of walls to ensure the parts are solid, as well as using a concentric top and bottom pattern. I've gone back and forth with using regular or scarf style seams and usually have to do some light sanding and cutting anyway. Next, I have to measure and cut 18 lengths of filament per bearing. If only there was an easier way. You may have noticed these bearings are substantially longer than the original metal bearings. I'm doing that to spread out the load because I think it'll make them stronger, but I also have a sneaking suspicion that it will create issues since there are slight bends in the filament. After a quick lube job with some organic grease, whatever that is, we can start adding the rollers. This was a tedious job and I've since created a C tool for this, which is in our free Patreon post. For the first test, I decided to print one in PLA and one in PTG. I'm also using carbon fiber infused nylon as the rollers for the PLA bearing and PTG as the rollers for the PTG bearing. I'm honestly not sure if the lower friction in the PTG would be advantageous or if it would just make it slide instead of roll, which would increase the wear. The nylon carbon fiber has more grip, which can be both good and bad and be sure to use the proper tools for assembly. Duct tape fixes everything. The one issue I see right away is the horizontal strength. The only thing holding the wheel in the bearings is the friction from hammering them in with that tape, and the only thing holding the bearings together is the rollers themselves riding up against a very small edge. Regardless, this test is going better than expected, and also is a fantastic excuse to ride a go-kart as a half-grown adult. After about 20 minutes of riding, it's time to actually apply some force and do some donuts to see if we can break these things apart. Oh yeah, that did it. Okay, so it's time to go back to the drawing board and figure out how we can fix this issue. Most likely by printing some type of heavy washers, either with PETG or use some carbon fiber infused filament. We could cheat and use metal washers or we could create some kind of C snap ring system, but honestly, for this test, we're gonna keep it as simple as possible. Again, the go-kart is definitely not something you would use these bearings for. They're designed for smaller purposes, but I just wanted to test these in a more extreme environment than I would ever actually use them. Cutting the correct lengths of filament was a pain, so I made a small tool which should make the job much faster and easier. I'll be sure to upload this as well. 
The other changes include making the rollers a little shorter so the filament has a better chance to actually roll, and to make the inner race split so the rollers have something to hold them together when making hard turns. And yes, I'm also cheating by printing some carbon fiber infused washers. After an extended ride of about 30 minutes with a quick fuel stop, these seem to hold up much better, even after a few turns and donuts. There really doesn't feel like there's much more play since the start, and the added washers helped tremendously. I'm going to continue to improve these so the washers aren't needed, but that's too much for this video. With a quick inspection of the bearings and rollers, it looks like there is little to no wear on the filament itself, only a little wear on the inner race where I made it a touch too large. I would consider this a win. Definitely not practical, but fun, and something that would work at a pinch if you have nothing better to do. Now it's time to test something that is a little more practical. This bearing is only 10 millimeters in diameter and is designed to work with an M3 screw or a shaft. The extremely thin walls and small size allow them to just snap together. For quick test, I decided to make a small set of blades to use with a leaf blower. It's amazing how well this is working. Of course, they'll probably wear out eventually, and I don't know how well they'll hold grease, but for small projects and things you're doing internally, they're probably gonna work great. I don't know if I would sell products with these, but for your own prints, these are working really well. So are filament bearings really practical? Maybe not. Are they useful? I think so. I think they make a difference for some applications. It was definitely fun to experiment with, and I'm looking forward to trying out some different methods, including creating our own rollers that are solid and not actually 3D printed by doing some kind of hybrid injection molding or by just printing them in resin. Again, I would love some ideas in the comments on this if you guys can think of anything. If you want to download essentially anything you've seen in this video, it should be on our Patreon. All the bearing stuff is listed for free, so you don't have to pay to see that. If you want to support us and download things like the Ferris wheel and Marvel track system, that is on our Patreon as well. Again, looking forward to your ideas. And if you use this, maybe hashtag filament bearings. I'd love to see what you guys come up with. Thanks again and looking forward to the next project.